Kata Mafioso, what's going on, bro? Hey, what's good with you? And I'm man. Yeah, the CEO. Yeah, man. Good mind, TNT. Word. It's good with you. Yeah, man. D and me, TV. Hell yeah. We here, man. We're trying to get it. Oh, yeah. We're trying to grind. I see you. Hey, man. We're glad to have you here today, man, with us. So, yeah, be here. Hey, man. That's what's up. So, we're going to jump into these questions we have, you know, to uh, get to know you. Uh -huh. So, um,. Start off by asking, how do you come up with your name and what does it mean? Um, Caramapioso is actually a uh, face mob in Spanish. Uh, Caramapioso uh, mob, and that goes um, from the the original name, face mob. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been rocking with that from um, that was like a street name. Uh, one of my artists, She Bang, gave me. And um, right. Mob, I had um, I had associated with instead of getting money over um, bees, it was like getting money over bees and busters. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just um, just it just came really from my street hustle, my street grind. All right. So how long you been making music? I mean, I've been making music since I was like five. You know what I'm saying? From the drums in church. You know what I'm saying? Um, to um, 13, by my first Gemini um, mix a, a technique. I had one technique turntable, and um, I used to um, DJ and um, record myself with a little tape recorder. You know what I'm saying? And then that generated from being in chorus, middle school, taking over the chorus, um, performing, and uh, recreating songs that was out, but putting my words in it. And it just kind of followed me through high school, right. and you know what I'm saying, um, to it became a career. And okay. I, I, I've been doing it ever since. Okay, that's what's up, man. So you've been doing it for a long time then. No doubt. So um, since you've been doing it for a long time, do you remember the first song you ever recorded? Yeah, the first song I ever recorded was in um, Audio FX, uh, Middleburg Plaza. Shout out to Dar Turner, um, Columbia. Uh, uh, went to Keenan, I believe. Um, he we recorded tonight's tonight is me and um, Robert Skeet salute. Um, we recorded uh, over the Red Man's tonight's tonight beat, and um, the other one was um, time for some action. And we did like a two part um, uh, verse, and that's when uh, I think it was like thirty five dollars an hour to record, but. We couldn't get the finished product till next week after we got our check. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, that was like in, um, I want to say, um, 91, 90, 91, 90, 91. I mean, how, how did you feel when you first recorded that first song? It was um, amazing. Right? Like, to hear, like, you know, I used to hear Prince Ice on the weekends, DJ Prince Ice from the Big DM. Hot um, 103.9. Um, he used to have killer mixes, and um, uh, he used to have artists um, recorded, but they was rapping over instrumentals that he was right. scratch on. And um, I was like, oh man, how he do that? And you know, uh, he had went to a studio, or he had his own studio, you know. And um, when I did when I did mine, it was like to hear myself play back. It was like, oh man, this sound good. So. I really had faith in myself and heard myself and it just motivated me to keep going because of the response I was getting from the people around me. Right. That's what's up, man. So, I mean, what or who influenced you to get into hip-hop? Um, just my surroundings. Back in the 90s, it was like, it was, uh, it was the way uh, everybody was living at the time. Um, Timberlands, hoodies, um, the the hockey jersey. It was like, um, back then, the rappers, um, they were original and they created styles. You had cross colors, they were wearing their pants back, they right. were wearing their pants sideways, yeah, yeah. inside out. And it was like, whoever had a new style, a new trend, everybody rolled with that. So, um, 
I had a chance to enjoy all of that, you know, and right now you don't really have that. It's like everybody on one set thing, and they taking the originality out yeah. of it. Yeah, no resound, exactly. Yeah. I remember even coming up, I was young, but we used yeah. to rock cross colors, like I said, the pants back, right. the jumpers, right. you know what I'm saying, the over coveralls, right. to rock all that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We had Variety. Variety. Right. Exactly. And it was always something else coming behind. Exactly. It's bold, you know. All uh, kind of change. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. So, um, as far as your creative thoughts, where what do you do or where do you go, specific place you go to get your creative thoughts flowing? Um, well, I always um meditate. And what I mean by meditate is like um everything comes from a divine thought. So anytime you at rest or at a at a a, a, a moment or a said standstill, mm -hmm. your mind still is traveling. Mm -hmm. And um, when your mind's traveling, it goes where it want to go at. But it's all going to travel from whatever you thinking at that time. So meditate is when answers come to you. You know, for questions you be thinking about. And um, you have a vision of the question. You have a vision of the answer of the question you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So I meditate constantly by just reading the earth, looking at the earth, looking at people, um, looking at my surroundings and seeing why situations is why they are. And I deal with the opposite, the and and the or. Like if things going bad, I think of the other side of that and be like, well, things could be going this way. So everything, you know, how it's appearing is just all illusion or a moment. It ain't gonna last. So um, that's how I get my thoughts because answers come to you as you proceed and go forth. You know what I'm saying? Um, movement and action is wisdom and that's activated from whatever you're seeing, whatever you know, whatever you're hearing, whatever you're around. All right. So um, I constantly deal with that and um, order, you know what I'm saying? As long as I got an order and a foundation, whatever comes from off the foundation, it could be um, the upholstery, it could be the um, the flooring, it could, I could have tile in the bathroom, or I could have um, uh, another kind of tile in the kitchen, but that's the variety you can go through. That means different ways of different, um, uh, Areas you could take things to, so I just meditate, you know, and get answers right. you know, from that divine thought. Right. Everybody had their own way of doing it, so right. you know. Um, that leads me to my next question: uh, What artists do you look up to or follow, local or mainstream? Which which artists? Well, I don't follow any artists particular. Um, I I like. Um, I respect a lot of artists, um, artists that, um, artists that I can relate to more mm -hmm. or vibe with lyrically right. would be like Twister, um, Busy Bone, um, uh, Ill and Out Scratch, Big Daddy Kane, you taking it back. Rakim, you know, like, it ain't nobody in particular, but I, I got something from all of them. But I'm a big fan of myself, you know, because all I listen to is myself. Right. You know, and I don't I don't strive to get caught in. The, um, as long as I'm going to be um, rapping myself, I don't get too caught in the what's out there because then I'm going to sound like that or right. some of my songs is going to be on that type of level and I don't want to do that. So right. I just listen to my own thing. Your own style. And, you know, by me not writing, I'm letting you get everything from within. Whatever I've been through, whatever I'm seeing, whatever right. I got to get off at the time. So it's not no rapper in particular, but I respect anybody that comes with a creative thought. You know what I mean? Right, right. So um, tell me this. How do you feel about the state of hip-hop in South Carolina itself? I feel that there's no unity. Um, it's hip-hop, but, you know, nobody want to support one another. Um, people don't know it's, it's like um, unity is you and I. You know people, I know people. 
the more people you know and the more people I know and the more people they know is going to bring like a whole, you know, millions of people. You know, um, it shouldn't take funerals, um, weddings, you know, it shouldn't take no big thing to bring people together or, right. or collaborate together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, the hip hop is, 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 is gone because there ain't no unity. Right. And but it's here, but it's 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 spread out. You know what I'm saying? But the only way it's gonna come together in South Carolina or keep it together, we gotta respect one another and come together. Come together. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the key. So I mean my my next question was gonna be, do you think there's room for for improvement? But you basically kinda answered that by saying right. we gotta to come together. That's and, the only way. Right. That's the only right. way. Right. Um, so uh, we're gonna get on to the going to the next question, which is, do you have a favorite color? Um, green. Green. All right. Yeah, green is my favorite color because it represents um, growth. Like um, people don't know when you got anything you eat green is for long life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, my thing is, is from the earth, and you know anything from the earth. It's pure, and you know what I'm saying. And when you pure, you grow. You know what I'm saying. Right. So that's, that's why my favorite color green. Yeah. It represents the earth. green. Okay. How about your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Uh, my favorite food used to be spaghetti, but I stopped eating beef. So right now it's fish, um, just fish, fish and whatever like setups. What we used to eat in Penting. <laughs> um, any type of fish. Um, your noodles, your rice. I usually uh, eat yellow rice, or so, um, and I, I cook with some vegetarian beans, and um, mix it with the mustard and corn and the oysters. And the oysters. And I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Give me some tortilla rolls, and that's my favorite meal. Wow. wow. Mixtape and EPs. Yeah. Um, I got. Um, just go to that. Pib.com and um, type in Face Mob 803 and all my mixtapes uh, pop up. Um, go to CDBaby.com, type in Kata Yoso and mixtape, um, well not my mixtape, but the single I got, this is a dream featuring David Davis. Produced by Darrell on the track from D&D, and D&T &D is on there. Um, I got, um, I'm also a DJ. Um, DJ Face Mob, I got mixtapes on tapesauce.com, who I'm associated with, and we do web hosting. And um, I'm also at Groundhog Promotions, and um, we do graphics videos. And um, let's see, you catch, uh, just Google Hard Time 803, Face Mob 803, and I'll link you to the videos. I got like 60. Three videos on YouTube and um, SoundCloud, Hard Time ENT803, um, Reverb Nation, Hard Time ENT03. That's why I say just Google Hard Time 803 and all, everything pop up. Alright, so that's what's up, man. man. That's pretty much it, man. Hey, I, glad to have you here, man. And, no you know, we got more work to do, and no I'm pretty sure you're going to be back soon, so. No you know what I'm saying? And no we're going to work. That's right. All right. All right. Three. Tough guy, watch out. Catch my genius, son.